Well, Jake, I brought my grandson, Jake, and uh, we're right outside of Gray, Georgia, close to close right. to Monticello, and uh, and Madison. We're up in that area, but we've come to something called the Chap Tacular. Now, this is a national event that is uh, a national chainsaw competition and uh, people are carving things. Uh, they're from all over the United States, Canada. This is such a big deal. I've never been before. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing these uh, chainsaw artists. <laughs> and I mean, you just gotta love this. Some great campgrounds up here as well. I'll share some of those down at the bottom if you ever wanna come up to this area. It's a beautiful, chilly, um, early November morning, so you can probably start hearing the chainsaws in the background. It's going to be a lot of fun, so uh, let's go see what kind of mischief we can get into. I think this is going to be a blast. Uh, we actually met somebody from Macon. This is Stephanie McCollum. Stephanie McCollum. Nice to see you. Tell me about what what brings you here to Chaptacular. My husband Matt does carving garvings here for Chap and his family. We've been doing it for many years to raise money for cystic fibrosis. Um, it's a great charity. 100% of the money raised for the auctions goes back into the charity. Almost everybody here is here on a volunteer basis. Um, it's just a great community outreach, good family time, and it's good camaraderie. Well, I hear there's 90 carvers here this year. That's amazing, isn't it? From where it started several years ago, it's phenomenal. Every year it gets bigger and more and more fun to be out here. Well, I'm looking at Matt's work. He is really something. Look, I'm looking at horses' heads. I'm looking at the Indian. And then this magnificent eagle that I see here. I'm going to zoom in on it for just a second here and just show that. That is just absolutely something. Well, thanks so much for taking your time today. I'm, and really, thank you for such a worthy cause. This is absolutely awesome. We have so much fun doing it. Thanks for coming out. You bet. Thank you. So I know it's noisy, but it's not just bears and fish and birds, but it's uh, ornamation on the sides of trucks, and it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to kind of speak up here because of all the... Start your engines! They're going to do another cut back here, so I'm going to have to talk quick. You'll hear all the chainsaws going off again. So uh, we're going to go around and see if we can find some more carvers and uh, highlight some of the work here. It's really an amazing day. All right. We are with Mandy and she and her husband are full-time carvers and you're out of Maryland? That is correct. That's awesome. So how many of these that you do every year? Um, this is the biggest fundraising event that we do, which is the Chaptacular in Georgia. He travels to over 30 to 40 states just between April and September doing fairs. And then we have like craft shows and events and then private commissions that we do as well. Well this, uh, how many hours do we have into this lion's head? This is really spectacular. About, so far I would say about five to six hours. In. Five to six hours. And you're doing the koi over here? I Let's walk over here and see this. This is pretty amazing as well. Look at the detail. This is going to be incredible. Incredible. And how many hours will you have into that by the time you're finished with it? Um, in this one, I'll probably have about nine hours in it. So if somebody wanted to find out about your work, where would they find you at? Um, they can go to joestebbing.com um, or they can look Joe Stebbing up on Facebook. Okay, you have Instagram? We do not. Uh, he does. He does. He does, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't, but he does. Okay, well, great. Well, we look forward. We're going to put you on ilovervlife.com. Awesome. And uh, everybody's going to be excited about seeing your work and visiting your site. Thanks great. for your time. Thank you. So you'll see carvers from everywhere. This is Austin White Climber from New York. Wow, these folks from, from everywhere. And you can see his work here. He's pretty spectacular. We're continuing as we walk around. This is kind of like a big circle that you've got here. 
and we're running into people from New York and some from Georgia. Uh, this gentleman is from Carrollton, Georgia. Look at this amazing bear. Still a little work to do, but is that spectacular? Wow. And this just goes on and on and on and on. Just carvers from everywhere. There's a guy over there from Nashville, Tennessee. You are? I am Ken Tynan from Butler, Pennsylvania. Butler, Pennsylvania? Butler? Butler, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. It is uh, the birthplace of the Jeep. And, All right. Uh, yes. Born and raised there. And I've uh, been carving about 18 years. And uh, been coming to Chaps since my fourth time, I think, coming here. Fourth yeah, time. Yeah, it's wonderful. Well, your work is spectacular. Well, thank you very much. I had a little bit of help by my buddy Steve Higgins. And if you talk to anybody about carving, his name will come up many times because he's, he's wonderful. And he gave me some pointers on this one. I'm going to do the finish off the detail with a uh, chisel. So you're, uh, you're finishing off all the detail with chisel, but you started off with your uh, chainsaw. Yeah, and you see here is the chainsaw. Okay. That little part right there. All right. Yeah. Oh, that is I, absolutely beautiful. I, I just like the chisel, like their eyes at the end. It gives just a few little hard lines. Yeah, just kind of bring it to life. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking your time and letting us, uh, letting us see your work today. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Hi, my name's Jeremy Smith. I'm from Rome, Georgia. I started carving in October of 2012 when my wife asked me to carve a pumpkin for a pre-k class. Changed my world when she did that. Been on TV a couple times, been around the country. Here at Chattacular, the crown jewel of the chainsaw carpet. Uh, so is this, the, is this the big deal that everybody goes to every year? Well, it's turning into it. I mean, we got, what, 90 carvers here? We're supposed to have 90 carvers here. And uh, we're doing it for a good cause. And I think that's why we get such a good turnout. And we make these awesome pieces for charity. And hopefully, at the end of the day, we can maybe do a little bit of good, you know? There you go. That's the idea. So tell me about this piece here. How long have you been working on it? I got here about Tuesday afternoon. Been working on it on and off. And we got a little uh, different projects and stuff we got to do here. Well, this is really quite amazing. What's the wood? Did you hand pick out this log to be able to do something like this? I mean, you just... Is it, is it as much the wood as anything before you no, get started? what happened was I got here early and poplar is my favorite kind of wood and I'm kind of out of it at my shop. So I've been missing it a little bit. And I got here and I saw this ginormous poplar log and it spoke to me and it said, Jeremy, <laughs> turn me into a, something great. And I had this great plan. It was going to be an eagle swooping down on the Liberty Bell with the bell clanging, a bit crack in it, said, let it ring. And as soon as I put the saw into it, the wood said, no. Now I'm going to be something different. So uh, I liked the, what he had to say. Well, it is an absolutely magnificent piece. Hopefully, it'll, like I said, it'll, it'll go for a while. Looks fantastic. Well, thanks, Jeremy. What's the name of your website? Otherlevelsculptures.com. Are you on Facebook or Instagram? I am on the Book of Many Faces and on the Gram of Instances. And what what is what are you there on Instagram? Uh, I think it's Other Level Sculptures on both cases. All right, great. Sure. Well, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you, man. Well, again, you hear the chainsaws going off in the background, and that's another competition going on over there. We're actually going to walk around and look at some of these carvers. There's uh, some pretty incredible work out here, so let's see what we can find.
All right, so we have just finished up filming here and walking around and talking to some great folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is a little different. We tried to uh, highlight some of the carvers around here. Some of them were quite busy and we didn't get to see them all, and I hate that, but um, you know, they're, they're working for a great cause here and just having a blast. It was absolutely amazing to be able to see these fantastic carvers. Jake? Well, what did you think? It was a fun day. About to leave this place, get some deep, and go dogs. Go dogs. So I've got to get Jake back. Today is a big Georgia game, so we're going to go ahead and see that. But we've had so much fun at the uh, Chaptastic, uh, right outside of Gray, Georgia. This is absolutely amazing. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'm Jerry, and I love RV life.